is he a man or not? Look at the dilemmas that we live in. The one that has money, brother. We love money. We honor money. I've had grown men come to me and tell me, brother, my son has brought me great shame. Did he do zina and he had a baby? Great shame to the family. He's 30 years old. He still hasn't bought a house. This is deep down in our hearts. So our ability, my ability to make money determines how much of a gel I am. I ask you sincerely, don't answer, don't answer, rhetorical question. The Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa by the standards that we live in today, is he a man or not? Don't answer. What a dilemma. What an awkward position we've just been cornered into. Today the sister tells me, I wish I was married to the Prophet Sallallahu Sister, please, Karmel Allah, just sit down, inshallah, and stay on your Facebook, please. Or he, she wishes she was married to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is, this is, this is all wishful thinking, you know. And please don't misunderstand what I'm about to say. What I'm about to say doesn't mean that we have to intentionally be poor. No, that's not what I'm saying, no. But this idea that being rich will bring me success, that being rich will make me a man. This is a sickness. Aisha is telling her nephew Urwa, in the authentic narration, she says to him, Ya Urwa, oh, the son of my sister, she said, I swear by Allah, we used to see the moon, then the full moon, then the full moon. The sister that wishes she was married to the Prophet, I hope you're listening. Today the sister complains, my husband hasn't taken me out to dinner in two weeks. He's a bakhil brother. He's Aisha is telling her nephew, we used to see the moon, then the full moon, then the full moon. Two consecutive months, 60 days, and there would be no cooking and no boiling, no flames. Is he a man or not? Look at the dilemmas that we live in. When Deen is no longer the, the measuring stick, when Deen and Allah and His Prophet are no longer the ones who dictate, when social media and, 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 and public perception is what drives us, but we pick and choose what we want from Deen. The Prophet وسلم, said, this Deen started strange and it will return to being strange. So glad tiding to the strangers, yet every single one of us is trying to be exactly like everyone else.